swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. Happily, I feel that I learn something every time I face you. Even if it's only a new place to nurse a bruise. So long as you're certain you have time. Let us begin. Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Master Lee just went into his house. It's just over there, as always. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. Our most senior student has a spare moment to spend with me? An honor. No, wait, I shouldn't be like that. Master Lee always reminds me that jealousy is a low path and not worthy of one of his students. I understand your training is almost complete. I wonder who will replace you as our example. It certainly won't be me. I can't even imagine Master Lee saying, you must strive to be like Lin in all things to the others. Just the opposite, more likely. That makes sense. Is that how you live your life? If so, it certainly seems to be an effective philosophy. Maybe I should spend more time training, and less time worrying about where I stand in the school. How else will I be good enough to take you down one of these days? Besides, there might be bigger things to worry about. 
I find myself intrigued by the ghost tales that everyone's mentioning. You think I will talk about them behind their backs? I will, but I don't want people to think of me as the local gossip. Of note? There's only one student of note, and that would be you. Everyone else, even Dawnstar, is just a background for you and your supposed destiny. I'm sure you know that your implied status causes jealous remarks. I have muttered a few, but I don't mean you harm. The one you should be careful of is Gao, but I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. You know him as well as I do. A rich man's son. He's attractive, I suppose, but arrogance follows him like a cloud of locusts. I hear his father is the same way. Gao the Greater and Gao the Lesser. Not a family I would want to be a part of. Stay well. Typical. Finally here to talk to Master Lee, are you? I certainly hope so. The old man is in there meditating, and he won't train me until he talks to you. The seniors. You don't. I'm sure Wen could stammer out an answer for you. Something to make you feel all warm inside. And just great about yourself. Master Lee wants to talk to you. Do me a favor and go talk to him. Then maybe I can actually receive some education at this school. Ah, there you are, my student. I watched your bout against Jin with great pride. You have gained almost what you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them apart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master, Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him. And Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. The time for practice is over. Go to Gujin, the weapon master, and get a weapon. You may soon be called to use it. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. 
We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. have injured Kia Min. She is a favorite pupil and holds the record for the challenge I run. I'm sure. What can I do for you? Good. What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned... His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gao. It only serves to push me further away. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gao, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. Oh, he is Gao the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Lee allowed him to stay so that the influence of the father could be countered, but Gao never learns. He acts like he's a... What does Gao the Lesser ever want? He's convinced that he can buy everything, and that includes people. He's a spoiled little man. I'd rather not dwell on him. Let's not increase his influence by talking about him after he's gone. What is it you wish? Yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with C. Pat on his way to help Kia Min. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Lee was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so... absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? You're right. As useful as it was to help Master Lee learn about the restlessness of the dead, it was to my gift. If we can stop the bandits quickly, we can keep everyone safe. Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. Of course. Good company will make the walk go faster. Why are we going back to the school? We need to go to Gujin's, north of the main square in town.
Nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I don't know you. Why are you asking me all these questions? This town isn't well guarded. Forget it, let's just start looting. We'll get first crack at the good stuff. You're right. This isn't worth it. I can't believe they've moved so quickly. We need your weapon. We should go to Gujan for a weapon. His workshop is in the center of the village by the gate, up the stairs from the square. It's the largest and most permanent building. I don't want to think about it too much. Manipulating Chi has not come as naturally to me as it has to you. The things I do are diff... I can see spirit shapes and hear the odd whisper. Master Lee was surprised, but he has not had time to look into it further. Your training is his primary interest. Hopefully I'll find my skills useful for more than just keeping me up at night. Could we go on to something else? We should... This building is Gujin's place. As soon as we can, we should see him to arm ourselves. Hello, Weapon Master Gujin. Good day to you. If you'd prefer, I don't need to use the fact. Now, what brings you here? Already? I assume you dealt with them, and the rest are in for quite a surprise when they get here. Well, no time to waste. Donstar, I watched you practice with that new blade yesterday, and I must say you take to it naturally. I want you to keep it and use it as your own. This is a great honor. A good weapon is a true warrior's most treasured possession. You know, you came here with Master Lee as just a babe. I came not long after, and I've been holding on to a weapon for you. Well, two, actually. But you need to choose which one you'll take. Master Lee wants you to stay focused on your first weapon. I don't know where your master acquired these, but he has honored me with the care of two legendary weapons. You may arm yourself with either the legendary longsword, Fortune's favorite, or the famed staff, Golden Star. They say this blade was created in the forge of Smiling Fortune, blacksmith to the gods. Crafted for his son, this blade eventually found its way into the hands of men. How your master found it, I cannot say, but this ancient longsword is yours, if you wish it. They say Golden Star was forged as a gift to a water spirit of the Silkworm River. A young noble convinced the Great Eastern Serpent to fly him to the stars, where he dipped this staff in the tail of a comet. It could be pure fantasy, but the staff certainly isn't. It's strong and has an excellent reach. Your foes will tremble if they see you wielding it. I'm afraid not. She would not be able to handle one of these weapons quite yet. 
I'll explain why in a moment. But suffice it to say that very few people have your aptitude for maintaining focus in battle. In time, Dawnstar will be able to handle a weapon like this. But don't discount the blade I gave her. Master Lee wanted her to have the keenest steel I could find. The your weapon is well deserved, and you'll need it with these bandits so close. If you decide you truly don't like it, however, you can come see me after the bandits are dealt with. One more thing you need to know. These weapons strike with deadly precision, but to wield them safely, you must focus with each strike. Master Lee has been training you so that you'd be ready for this kind of weapon, and the drain won't be crippling, but you will get tired over time. That you should. Those people will be looking to you for leadership until Master Lee gets back. I know you'll do well. Senior student! Oh, excuse me, Weapon Master. I did not mean to interrupt. Calm down, student. What has you so flustered? The bandits! They've already been sighted down by the beach, and they're making their way toward the town. Master Li hasn't returned yet with Kia Man. I'm sure he will be back before long, but we must depend on you until he returns. I will run to the school and seal the gates. Make your way to the beach and teach these bandits a lesson. I... You've done well, lad. Go back to the school now. Your friends have some new weapons they're dying to try out, I'm sure. Legendary strike. Help! Someone! They are all over the beach! Bandits! Hold your tongue, old man! This village is ours! Kill anyone in our way! We'll strip this village bare! 